Hello everyone, John Campo Piano again with Patriot Roofing. I want to just show you one, the last job that we're on here and uh, kind of show you what to look for in a roofer or not to look for in, in a roofer. Um, just showing some of the things that, uh, that a lot of roofers do wrong. So what we have today is a 212 pitch. It was roofed uh, 12 years ago, started leaking 10 years ago. And there's some things that the last roofer did that completely voided all warranties. So and uh, follow me along the roof and I'll show you what went wrong. So first looking at the underlayment. Ten years ago when this roof was done a single layer underlayment was put on a 212 pitch. A single layer on a low slope roof voids every manufacturer's warranty. When you have a low slope roof the water stays on, on the roof longer and you need uh, special underlayments to maintain the, the manufacturer's warranty. So that's the first thing that was done wrong in this particular case. As we move down, you're, you're going to notice, as we look over here, a lot of really bad plywood. Now a lot of this plywood, there's been a lot of leaking because of the low slope and because of the improper installation of the roof. But a lot of this plywood, as you look, it's been bad for a lot longer than just 10 years. And so what happened in this particular case is the roofer saw the bad plywood but just went right over the top of it. Usually because it takes longer to replace it. So as we step along a little further, down the plywood here, we're gonna come to the chimney area. Now the proper way of doing a chimney when you re-roof a house is actually replacing the chimney flashing with new flashing. In this particular case, when the last roofer did this roof, they just put a piece of torch down in here. Torch down will never keep a chimney watertight, and so consequently around the chimney you have a large amount of leaking and a large amount of bad plywood. Watch our step going around just because of how rotten everything is. And keep in mind, folks, that this roof is only 12 years old since the last time it was roofed. 12 years. That's it. So as we come along a little further, looking at the rafters, you'll notice this one right here is badly twisted. You have a few of these that are broken. I suspect that the last roofer dropped bundles really hard on top of these, but we don't know for sure. Bottom line is, when you see rotten rafters, like what we see over here, when you see broken rafters, when you're re-roofing a house, you just don't want to go over the top of this. You need to replace them. So that's the, uh, that's the current job that we're working on right now. Just wanted to show you some of the things to uh, watch out for. Um, a lot of roofers tend to like to go really fast, cover everything up. And the problem with that is you're going to have to deal with this roof again in a much shorter period of time than what you normally would if you just did it right the first time. Thank you for listening. See you next time.